year, a fresh start. And for a lot of us, that also means we're gonna be going into our closets and thinking about purging all the things we didn't wear last year and all the things we don't love anymore and all the things we don't see ourselves wearing ever again. Before you do that though, I have some really fun, cute ideas for how you can kind of take some of those boring drab clothes take them up a notch and maybe fall in love with them again. I am going to be doing all of this with the help of Farm Yarn and I've talked to you guys about Farm Yarn in the past um, but a quick refresher, Farm Yarn is basically selvage ends of knit uh, fabric that they source from various um, undergarments, swimwear, athletic wear manufacturers. This is a, a plain, boring, basic t-shirt. It actually doesn't fit that well at the hem. As you can see, it's a little bit tight. And because of that, when I wear it, it just kind of like hugs me and doesn't hang like I like it. I am gonna be using the farm yarn to create little uh, channels on the side seams and then using that to create this ruching effect that um, is going to create all these little ripples over my problem area, keep the side seams as high or low as I want them, and also create this curved hem. So let me show you how to create this little look on this plain little red t-shirt. All right, you guys, this is so, so simple. So you are going to take one of your side seams like so, turn it up facing you. And basically we need to create two channels, one along each side of this side seam. But if you remember, I got all those knit scraps. I'm gonna place it right along this side seam. And then from the right side, I am gonna sew uh, 3 eighths of an inch on this side of the side seam and 3 eighths of an inch on this side of the side seam. Okay, and when you are done, you are gonna have one seam running down the middle. I just used like stitch in the ditch uh, to go along the side seam. And then you're gonna have two seams along um, either side of that and that creates our channel. Now, I wanna point out also that this is open on the sleeve side and open on the hem side. We have not closed either of those. Just the tried and true safety pin trick. Um, attaching the safety pin to one end and then feeding it up through our channel all the way up to the sleeve and then bring it back down and through down to the other hem. All right, and once you've got your farm yarn all fed through both channels like so you will have two ends hanging out of one end and then at your armpit essentially is where you'll have like the loop where we where we turned the thing um turn the corner uh if you'd like you can stitch in the ditch along the underarm seam to seal that closed because we went up and over it's never going to come out so i am just going to chop mine off all right and so here is how this is going to work basically when you put it on you are going to pull on one end and that is going to be what creates our ruching that's the beauty of this also is that you can take it up and down um as you know just depending on your outfit depending on how you're feeling that day so yeah finish up the other side and you are done with this cute little refashion t-shirt hack all right, and here's what we have with our cute little t-shirt hat. No one would ever know that this was not the original fabric from the shirt. Like, no one would never know that this wasn't made this way. This is what the side seam looks like, super, super cute. And again, you can, of course, adjust these if you wanna make it super short, you know. Obviously, I would retie this, but um, you can make it really short. You can pull it back down to the original length if you want. Um, so, so many options. So, so cute. Lots and lots of good options. Um, so, so happy that I'm going to be able to keep my little red t-shirts. Okay, so now we're going to take a look at the green sweater. Okay, next up I have this sweater that I actually really do love. It's got a really great texture to it, but again, it's a little bit just tight across the hips. 
Not to mention, I'm not really wearing sweaters that are super long like this anymore. So I'm gonna be taking some farm yarn, this one here. It's not an exact color, as you can tell, but it's pretty, pretty close, close enough anyways. And you can see this one has a little bit more give to it than the red does, which is gonna be perfect for um, this application. So basically what I'm gonna be showing you how to do is how to take a shirt, a sweater, could be tunic length, could be dress length, whatever you've got, and shortening it, creating a little casing, and then running the farm yarn through it so that it creates this little like drawstring effect on your sweaters, giving it a lot more visual interest and also kind of better proportions for the body. So let me show you how to do it. So I have marked with a safety pin kind of where, generally where I want this, um, want my sweater to end up lengthwise. Um, so measuring up from the side seam is, what is that? Five inches from the hem. Um, and I need enough of extra from here in order to turn it under and hem it. So I'm actually gonna chop it at four and a half inches all the way around. So um, we have this turned wrong side out. This is the inside out and we are just going to flip this up to create a one inch hem all the way around. So I'm gonna do that all the way around and I am going to, um, what am I gonna do? Press this and then I'm gonna take it over to my sewing machine and I am going to just do a simple straight stitch. You don't even have to do the zigzag stitch if you don't want. Um, the zigzag will prevent this from kind of raveling and unrolling, but I don't even really care about that too, too much. All right, we have our sweatshirt, sweater with the new hem. So we are gonna add this little gathering effect. What we are gonna do, I love this little tool from, I think it's from Clover, yeah, um, for wider uh, casings because it just fits right in and then just zips right around. But we are gonna pull the farm yarn through our new casing. And my farm yarn is here and it's just pulling from the center, just kind of like regular yarn does. So it's really easy to use and not make like a huge disaster of a mess <laughs> with a big pile of uh, farm yarn everywhere. All right, so now we've got that. And then I want to have, I don't know, six to 10 inches additional farm yarn so that I can tie it off really easily. So we have that. And because the farm yarn is stretchy, this is gonna act a little bit like elastic. Not so much so that it's gonna like hold it to your body, but it's definitely gonna pull taut and then stay there, um, which is really good. Uh, you can tie this off um, in like a permanent situation into a knot and, and bury it into the casing if you'd like, or if you want it to be adjustable, which is what I'm gonna do, you can tie it off into a bow. All right, you guys, this is what this one ends up looking like. Again, super, super cute. I think you would find this in an Athleta store in a heartbeat, Fabletics, call me. Um, super, super cute. I ended up leaving my casing open a little bit to the front and to the side, so that's where my bow would end. I just, I don't like bows, like right here at the center front, um, but obviously you can do it in the side seam, you can do it in the back, you can do it in the front, you can do it wherever you want. So mine's right here on the side. And again, if you don't want the bow to show, you can just kind of tuck it up under here like this and no one will be the wiser. And then similar to our red one, you can obviously let all this out and just have it be like a regular sweater too, depending on what you're wearing and like the vibe you're going for or whatever. Okay, our last and final refashion remake is the navy open front cardigan. All right, and last up, I've got this very dated, but I know you all had one about 15 years ago too, but it is a knitted open front short sleeve cardigan. I just, I just, I'm not into cardigans anymore. I don't know what happened. I used to wear them all the time and now I don't. So I want to use some of this white farm yarn to give it kind of like a little bit of a nautical look. Um, to create more of a <clears throat> more of a sweater with the um, top that I have versus a um, cardigan. So to do this, we are going to be installing grommets all along the little um, placket that is created here on the garment. 
um, and then weaving the farm yarn up through it. Let me show you how to put the grommets in and then how to lace this up for optimal like cuteness so that it doesn't look like you just kind of hacked a cardigan. <laughs> okay, so our first step is to identify where we want the eyelets to go and how um, far apart we want them spaced. You can see here there's a button on the other side and this is a little um, uh, like thread chain that they used as the buttonhole. So for me, this is how I know where the waistline is. So I know that I'm going to place one grommet here for sure. So I'm gonna place my little button marker thing um, along the center front, making sure to put one of the button hole uh, marks on this same line as the button hole of the original um, cardigan and we are gonna space them a lot closer together so that one end is kind of like at the hemline. All right, so now we need to mark um, all of these. And again, I know that I am starting at the hem and I'm gonna need to know this for the other side. So it's gonna be this guy here is gonna get one and then this guy here is gonna get one. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven little ribs in between those two marks. So that's what I'm gonna use going forward and that's what I'll use on the other side as well. Okay, I've got all my uh, demarcations for the grommets and this is a quick tutorial on how to make grommets. Your first step, don't freak out, is to cut through this little thing. I'm using my serrated scissors, my favorite, favorite serrated scissors, and just going for somewhere near the center. Now, the tall guy, the one with the little stand on the back, gets pushed through the front, like so, and position your fabric all around him, like this. Then this gets laid into the grooves of this little tool that it comes with, and then you get this little washer guy, and you get this little other little metal thing, and then you just um, take this part of your tool, put it on top of everything, give it a few whacks, and then you've got your grommet installed. So I'm going to go ahead and do this along both sides of my entire garment, and I'll be right back. All right, and here is what we have when we've installed our grommets already a thousand times cuter, am I right? Um, we haven't even laced it up yet. So the next step is to take some of your farm yarn. You can absolutely take this stuff, fold it uh, right sides together, stitch along the raw edge, turn it out and have like a proper tube. But I'm going to just leave mine raw for now. And if I ever change my mind, I can always go back and sew it shut, no big deal. Um, so you need to cut a length of this. Uh, for mine, all I to determine how much I needed, I just pretended that I was weaving this up like so and got to the top like this and then just doubled that length. So I have sort of pinched a center mark and I know that that is where I want this whole thing to start down here. So just lace it up like you would shoestrings. All right, so I have her all laced up and I just wanna add one more finishing detail just to make this look even more kind of intentional. I have these wooden beads. These might be a little bit small. I have some that are slightly bigger um, with a bigger hole. Um, so I'm gonna try and feed this through either of these holes. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna end up with this one here, but um, I just wanna add some beads to the end, like I said, just to kind of give it a more finished, polished look. Okay, so I ended up getting the bigger ones on to the string. Um, to make the end look pretty, just tie it into a knot like this. Oh, push your bead all the way down and now you've got a cute finished look for your sweater tie. All right, all done. Tell me if this isn't one of the cutest tops you've ever seen and that you would not pay premium top dollar for this in the store. But um, but yeah, I think it's super adorable and it's gonna get so much more wear than when it was just an open cardigan. 
And that's going to do it for today. I hope you enjoyed these three kind of like refashions featuring Farm Yarn. You guys, go check this stuff out. You can find them at farmyarn.us. We're absolutely going to love it. Your imagination is going to be running wild with all the different ways that you can use it. Um, some of the more obvious ones that I didn't touch on today because, again, I just kind of thought they were obvious are waistband drawstrings, drawstrings for a hoodie, and masks. So if you're making the ear masks or the ones that tie above your head, Farm Yarn is going to be perfect for those as well. So go shop, grab yourself some Farm Yarn, and I can't wait to see what you guys do with it. That is going to do it for me today. I'll see you all very soon. Bye!